Draw the shear and bending moment diagrams for the 50 meter beam using graphical construction. The first thing you need to notice is this is already a free body diagram. Typically you would do a free body diagram and solve equations of equilibrium before you would do anything else to find out what the reaction forces are. But we don't have any reaction forces because this is already a free body diagram that has been solved. So we can just start in. Our V diagram will be in units of newtons and we can break it up into the same sort of 10 meter chunks that the beam is broken up into. And we'll consider each of these separately. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. X is measured in meters, and we can draw the shear and bending moment diagram. This is the end of the beam. The beginning of the beam starts with a reaction load of 200 newtons. So the shear diagram starts at 200 newtons. Nothing happens until you get to this 10 meter break. Now I have the distributed load of 10 newtons per meter. So I'm going to decrease, W is down, so V goes down. I'm going to decrease from the 200 by an area under the curve. So my area for the next 10 meter segment has 10 newtons per meter over 10 meters. So this is a 100 newton load. So my V diagram drops by 100 newtons. 200 minus 100 is 100. The slope for this line will be the 10 newton per meter distributed load. At 20, I have the 100 newton load down which drops me from 100 back to 0. And again, I have the same distributed load between 20 and 30. So I have the same decrease in my V diagram to another, another 100 Newton decrease. That brings me down to minus 100. The slope is still 10, or negative 10. Now I have the 100 Newton load up. 100 Newton load takes me back to 0 at x equals 30 meters. And then nothing happens. There are no other shear loads at all throughout the length of the beam. So I will have zero for all the way between 30 and 50. That's my shear diagram. My M diagram, I can build by looking at the V diagram. So let's just break this up into the same 10 meter segments that we had before. All right, and X is going to be measured as before in meters. There is no moment at the left hand end. So M starts at zero. The area under the first portion of the V diagram is 200 by 10. This is 2000. M, it's above the axis, so M is increasing. V is linear. V is constant, so M is linear. So we have from 0 to 2000 newton meters with a slope equal to the value of the constant V, so 200 there. In the next segment, I have a parallelogram. The bottom part is 100 by 10, so that would be 1,000. And then the top part would be 100 by 10, but it's a triangle. So the total area here is 1,500 newton meters. This is the amount that V will incre M will increase. V is greater than 0, so M will increase by 1,500. If you take 2,000, you increase by 1,500, you get to 3,500. Now, V is linear and decreasing. So M is quadrating and concave down. So I can sketch that in. I don't have to actually find out explicitly what the function of that line is. Remember, our goal is to find out what the maximum value of M is and where it is. In the next piece, I have a triangle of 110. So that, again, is going to drop by 500. This is below the axis. So M is going to decrease. If I decrease 3,500 by 500, I get to 3,000. V is still decreasing, so M is still concave down. Between 30 and 40, V is 0, so M is going to be constant. Between 40 and 50, V is 0, and M is going to be constant. But you cannot forget the applied load. If V is a constant equal to 0, then M is constant. But we have to remember this 300 newton meter load. 300 newton meter load is counterclockwise, so M drops by 3,000. If you take 3,000 and drop it by 3,000, you get to zero. And nothing happens between there and the end of the beam. So as we've gone out this beam, we've now drawn the shear and bending moment diagrams. Double check. This is a free end at the right-hand end. And if you were to take a section, though you don't have to, you can see that V, N, and M all have to be equal to zero because there are no loads on this tip. Thus, both of these have to end up at zero at x equals 50.